Young won the Wildwood Rock Extreme Enduro last year. This year, he's back to try again. Wade has the credentials. Just watch him tackling the rock garden, one of the hardest sections of the course. He firmly placed himself on the Extreme Enduro map when he was the youngest ever winner of the Roof of Africa at only 16 years of age. Wade has been climbing his way to the top. This year he was the youngest ever winner of Romaniacs and many are already tipping him to be this year's best Extreme Enduro rider. But first, let's see his prologue run. Wade Young, world number one hard enduro rider at this point in time. And he's one of the very few hard enduro riders that hasn't come. Oh, he's up over the big tyres there. He's taken a line that very few people, other people have taken. And that's what you see from the world's best. The world's best lines through the world's tough, toughest obstacles. This guy is actually one of the very few hard enduro riders in the in the top, uh, in the elite hard enduro riders in the world, who doesn't come from a trials background. He's a South African, and he's just really riding really hard technical terrain, and he rides hard and fast. And uh, and if you watch the the, um, the trials guys that are, that are soft and delicate, and and Wade's a big guy. He's a really strong guy, very softly spoken, lovely guy. Actually, just carry the speed and the lines uh, through through the difficult obstacles. Wade picks lines that are di different to most of the other top enduro guys. When you see them in, in at Red Bull and, and Sega Sky, um, there's all black marks on the rocks where everybody's been, and then you'll just see a dusty track on a, on a totally different line that Wade's taken. When I was in Sega Sky this year, I saw a line up a zigzag section of a hill that everybody was struggling to do the zigzag, and Wade rode straight up it. I've never seen anything like it before on a motorcycle. The guy is incredible. And there we have it, world number one over the line. We'll give you the top 20 from the prologue, and that will determine the starting order for the main race. Yes, mate. Uh, happy to get the prologue out the way. Didn't have the smoothest run, but very happy with it. And uh, yeah, I'll move on to the final race now. And then it's time for the main race. Wade Young's taking the lead straight away. So we got Ruben Chadwick in second position in the black gear. Wade's gonna just that seems a little bit dusty, so uh, hopefully they um, keep it pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. We got Wade. Wade Ibram, number six. Number three there, we have uh, Hamish McDonald. Second ropes off. This is gonna be a hot, nice top here race with uh, some nice tight racing. But here, uh, with uh, five riders at a time, it's gonna be uh, some pretty tight. Looks like Ruben Chadwick's got around, Wade Young. He's uh, currently got in front of him off the start of the prologue. Then Wade, I think Wade here's got some time. He can sit back and just watch where, uh, where Ruben goes. Um, uh, then we've got uh, the next rider, Tim Coleman's there in the blue gear. He's right behind Wade, so he knows the track pretty well being here seven years. So uh, we just have to wait and see what Tim does. He knows how to just sit back and be nice and calm and, and just observe. Here if he can make a bit of a pass in the GRO area. Tim Coleman's trying to throw his weight about. Really put his stamp on the four hour race that's going to come in. We've got Mitch Harper going into the Liquid Molly bus already. Robert Novak's about to go into the Liquid Molly bus. Ruben Chadwick is still leading the group into the uh, from the prologue start there. We've got Wade Young, nice little kick off the rocks in the corner. Jeremy Carpenter as well on the Yamaha, on 44. Chris Perry of the uh, Cambodia Motorcycle Tourist ATM. He's doing well into the GRO area. Early in the race, Tim Coleman and Ruben Chadwick mix it up with Wade. But as they enter the natural terrain part of the course, Wade gradually establishes a good lead on his Sherco. Upcoming Aussie rider Wade Ibrahim eventually overtakes Tim Coleman and chases Wade for the lead. 
but the Aussie riders can't catch the South African, who eventually wins with several minutes to spare. A great race, and we look forward to seeing how Wade Young goes in the World Enduro Super Series.